You're watching Hawaii News Now, Sunrise. 522, you know meteorologist Jennifer Robbins has that series of stories she does here called On the Radar. Yes. Yeah, well this, this story this morning is actually on uh, the radar. Oh, it's literally. about the radar. Huh. Yeah, one of the tools that our severe weather team uses to see where rain, hail, even snow falls, it's Doppler radar. Jen is uh, getting a chance to check out one Doppler that's been cruising Oahu's roads. Take a look. A high-tech radar is in town scanning our skies. This radar um, is, uh, travels around the world. It chases uh, tornadoes, uh, hurricanes, and uh, winter storms. And so we're fortunate to have a, a, a time in the schedule to bring it here to Hawaii. And this is the first time it's ever been to Hawaii. University of Hawaii meteorology students, along with members from the National Weather Service, are getting a rare opportunity to take this Doppler for a spin on Oahu. We've never gotten this type of opportunity for field work. So I know a lot of the alumni are really jealous. <laughs> the radar, known as the Dow, is on a temporary loan by the National Science Foundation in Colorado. There are four permanent National Weather Service radars on Hawaii. One fixed on Kauai, another on Molokai, and two on the Big Island. So having a high resolution radar on Oahu will help paint a picture of the weather on the island in a different light. That these meteorologists have never seen before at this caliber and at this small of a scale. That shows us how big the raindrops are. So the, the larger the raindrops, the more power that comes back to the radar. And we're able to see, for example, the wind flow as it's going over the mountains and how the showers are affected by the mountains. That's something that we sort of know, but we haven't been able to really see in this high resolution before. During the Dow's short three-week visit on the island, it has already faced numerous trade wind showers, intense thunderstorms, and heavy downpours that created flash flooding, providing a large database of new information that the National Weather Service will analyze. We're storing it all, and we're gonna, it's probably going to provide years of research projects after this. And usually, daily weather balloon launches take off from Kauai and the Big Island for a profile of the atmosphere surrounding the islands. But with the Dow in town, special launches are being deployed wherever the radar rolls up and sets up shop. We gotta get the surface humidity. About another minute or 30 seconds and then we're about done. Once the weather balloon is launched, real-time data is available right at your fingertips. Two, one, lift off. The Dow is helping pave the way for future research that will aid in a better understanding of the dynamics of our island weather. Jennifer Robbins, Hawaii News Now. Doppler on wheels. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You, you get in there, you can see some things you just can't see with the stationary do uh, yeah. radar that we have on, across the state. Yeah. And I like how Jen, you can tell she was really kind of geeking out. <laughs> yeah. So that, that like, weather oh geek God. was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Doppler on wheels. <laughs> Doppler on wheels. <laughs> she and, and Bob Ballard, the guys that are friends there at the National Weather Service. I love that. So happy for them to have that opportunity to learn even more. <laughs>